Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Today, we're going to be having a little bit of a sesh, but we're also going to be having a story time, right? The story time topic for today is going to be the worst mushroom trip that I've ever had, all right? And you guys are probably like, whoa, this is pretty random, Sebi. You usually only really talk about weed, cards, all that stuff, but you never really talk about psychedelics. And it's because I, my relationship with psychedelics is probably not the best. Like I know some people have the best relationship with psychedelics, but my relationship with psychedelics uh, has really not been the best, all right? I've only really ever tripped on shrooms three different times, and every single time, it was just not the best experience. One time, it got so bad and that's the main story that we're going to be talking about today and the main reason why I'm talking about shrooms is because my most recent trip that I took was with these right here which is the galaxy treat Amanita mushroom gummies right so for those of you who are not familiar these are supposed to be like legally psychedelic mushrooms when I first found out about them I was like tripped out I was like wait legally psychedelic mushrooms looked into it found out that it was a thing and I was like bro all right, I might, I might give this a little dabble, all right? I might give this a little dabble. The first thing that I did was look up other videos to see what other people were saying about it. They said that they were tripping balls off this, and I was like, you know what? They seem like they're fine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dabble into it myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, start off at my most first ever trip that I ever had with shrooms, right? Now, this was back in like, I think it was like two or three years ago. This was on my birthday, November 4th. I do believe it was, maybe 2021, all right? When I first ever took my first ever mushroom trip. Before we go any further, you already know we gotta get a blinker check. Let's get it. Super gas, bro. Fully charged battery right here with the heavy hitters rosin pen. <sighs> Stupendous. Taking it back a couple of years ago, me and my friends went down to a cabin that one of the homies had through a timeshare. We were just kicking it there because like I said, it was my birthday, so we figured why not let's all get together, have a couple of drinks, just spend the night right there, and just chill out, you know, smoke up, and then even trip on shrooms. It was gonna be my first time ever tripping on shrooms. Now, I wasn't really too sure, and I'm still not too sure today what kind of shrooms they were but my homie got them and I, I trust my homie all right he always comes through so all I remember is that my homies picked me up from my pad which was about maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes from the mountains and as soon as they picked me up they like they showed me the bags with the shroomies in there and I was like I literally just started grinning right I just started smiling because I was like holy crap it's time dude my first time ever trying a psychedelic I, I've tried Molly before but I just feel like Molly isn't as psychedelic as shrooms ended up being all right, so I ended up taking 3.5 for the first time me one of my best friends And then another friend that we had at the time we all three of us took shrooms 3.5 and then we were like all right So it's gonna kick in within either the first 45 minutes to an hour So we should get there on time, right? And while we're driving, we're driving through the mountains, it's dark, late at night, it's maybe around 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and then we're just like literally just anticipating, talking about how we think what the shrooms are going to make us feel. And I'm over here thinking, I'm like, alright man, so what I've learned about shrooms are from what I've saw videos, it pretty much is going to brighten up everything, you're just going to be super locked in and focused on your thoughts, and you might not be paying too much attention to your surroundings, right? So that's what I was really thinking into it. But my main thought was like, I hope through this psychedelic trip that I learn a little bit more about myself that I try to figure out why I'm thinking certain things and then yeah man but what ended up happening as soon as we got to the cabin bro I definitely feel like I, I just felt like a, a change a super sudden change of just like euphoria just energy I just felt kind of like if I was like tipsy you know that like confidence boost that you get when you're drunk but without that like oh like I can't really control myself I felt that confidence and so we're inside of the cabin right I'm over here literally just blabbering every single thought that comes to my mind the trip maybe lasts about two hours at most and then I just feel like I'm back to normal still have that energy boost and it wasn't really a bad experience all right the only thing that I really learned from the first experience was just the fact that I speak my mind a lot whenever I trip out on shrooms. A lot of people don't understand that because I'm just talking so fast. And in my mind, I make perfect sense, but with everyone else, they're just like, yo, what is this dude talking about, all right? So it wasn't really a bad experience the first time. The one where I had the worst experience ever was gonna be in my shroom trip number two. So with this one, it was just me and my best friend. We went up to the mountains. I don't know why we thought it was a good idea that we 
were gonna go hiking while off shrooms, right? So we're like, yo, let's meet up right here, bro. Let's take some shrooms. We're gonna go on a hike. It's gonna be a mild hike. It's not gonna be too hard. I hope hopefully these things kick in and we just have a good time, right? We're gonna be out here for a couple of hours and boy was I wrong, bro. Boy was I wrong. I thought we were gonna be chilling there for a while, but everything just happened so fast, okay? So we took the shrooms and I believe the second time that I ever took some where they were called gold caps, all right? I could be wrong, I don't remember exactly, but I remember taking another 3.5. The only difference that this time though that was that these shrooms were a lot fresher. They still had, whenever I bit into them, they still had kind of like a chew to them, kind of, right? Whereas the first time they were really dried out, maybe they were a little bit older and maybe that's why it didn't hit me as hard, but bro, this time, it was hard to get the 3.5 down. It was it was really, really hard, right? I felt like throwing up a couple of times. I was chewing it over and over again. Just tasted like a bunch of like skin from sunflower seeds, bro. It just tasted just weird, just nasty. And then as soon as we take those down, we're just chilling in the car for maybe around 10, 20, 30 minutes. And then we're like, all right, let's just go on our hike and then let's just see what happens, right? So we're hiking down this trail. It is pretty hot. If I'm not mistaken, it was like, May, not in the middle of summer, but before summer starts, so it was still kind of getting hot already. And all I remember, bro, was that we're hiking, we're talking, and then out of nowhere, it just kind of feels like we transition into a whole nother place. It just feels like we just lost track of what we were supposed to be doing, which was hiking. And the only thing we were doing was literally just talking about our lives, literally just talking about all the things that we screwed up on, what we can do better. I was talking the most out of like the both of us. And all I remember was that I was just rambling, rambling, rambling. And then out of nowhere, we ended up to the end of the trail into the like the lakeside. And we were just, we looked, we were like, we paused looked around and we were like yo where are we dude and we we're like we have no idea and all i remember was that i was sweat like once i looked down all i remember was my shirt was drenched in sweat i didn't feel like i was set it's like sweating at all i just felt like i was doing fine i felt energetic i didn't feel any like maybe a little bit of sweat but i felt fine i think where i messed up that was that we were not drinking water, right? So maybe we were a little bit of dehydrated and that kicking in with the psilocybin mushrooms just like completely annihilated me. Because once we decided to turn back around and head back up, that's where the freaking like paranoia started to kick in. I had the worst, the worst paranoia ever, bro ever like this was the worst thing that i've ever felt in my life as soon like while we were walking up i was just like holy crap bro i just feel like i just feel like stuck i just feel like weird my body is tingling my stomach hurts and i just don't like this feeling right i don't really feel like i'm tripping right now i just feel like i don't know like what's going on right now right or what i'm gonna do next so we head back up right and we're chilling in the car we're chilling in the car drinking some water try to just let like cool down we turn on the ac and we're chilling there for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I know where I feel, I'm starting to feel better, right? I'm starting to feel better. And then I'm like, yo, I need to get out of this car. Cause then I start getting paranoid again. I start feeling like a suffocated feeling. Get out of the car and then I'm just like breathing, right? Just trying to catch a breath. And I'm looking around, looking around. And then on this little corner where people you like go to pull off, I saw four grand Jeep Cherokees blacked out, like windows tinted to the max. I was, and there was people like standing outside of him. And I was just like, wait, wait, like I was like, I got weirded out, right? And I looked over there. They, they, in my mind, they were looking at us. Who knows? I couldn't even see their eyes. They were wearing sunglasses, but their direction of their face was pointing towards us, right? And as soon as I saw them, bro, the paranoia kicked in even worse. I was like, yo, dude. I think the feds are over there. Like, and then my freaking best friend, he turns around, he's like, what? He's like, he starts getting paranoid too. He was a little bit of paranoid, but I like, I was just like on 10, bro. I was extremely paranoid. I'm like, yo, bro, the feds are over there. Should we get out of here? And we're just like looking at them. We feel like they're looking at us. And then out of nowhere, they all get in their cars, bro. And then they just leave, right? One by one by one by one. And they're all looking at us. They're all looking at us in the car. And I'm just like, wait. Why are the feds here, bro? Were they like listening to us? Were they like watching what we were doing? And then I was like, and then my my best friend, he was like, oh, I don't know, dude, they would have arrested us right now. And I don't know why I had this smart ass idea that I saw in a movie that you can't get arrested while you're on national, like, 
land or a federal land or something like that. I don't remember exactly what I said at the time. I was tripping balls, but I was like, no, nah, they can't arrest us. We're on national land right now, bro. And that's why they left. And I was like, I don't I was like, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that, right? But all I remember was like, yeah, bro, I think we should get out of here. There's probably not a safe spot. So me and him hop in our separate cars. We head down to the nearest gas station. We get off and we're still feeling paranoid. We're like, yo, dude, like this place looks sketch. Everything looks like super sketchy. Every, like we feel like we're in the ghetto, bro, about to just get murked, all right? That's how it felt at the time. Even my best friend, he was like, yeah, I need to get out of here, bro. I'm gonna go home. All right, and real quick, little disclaimer. This is not me encouraging anybody to do this. If anything, this should be a lesson to never ever, like be, be careful. I'm not saying never ever, but be very, very careful when dealing with certain things, all right, guys? Do it under safe circumstances. Don't be a dummy like me and just be going crazy. This is not something that's safe at all, right? It, I did it safe, I got home safe, but yeah, this right here, like looking back at it, was one of the worst things that I possibly could have ever done. So, I'm going back home, right? I remember that at the time, I had to go return a package literally right after I was done hiking, and that was my plan, and that was like, damn, I might, I'm like right here, I might as well go, right? So I'm parked, right? And literally, dude, I cannot find the courage to get out of the car and go inside because I just feel so paranoid that everyone knows that I'm tripping and that I look like a maniac, right? That's just what I'm thinking in my head. So I walk out of my car, I start walking towards the front, and as soon as I take a couple steps, I'm like, no, bro, I'm going back. I, I cannot deal with this. I just have so much anxiety, so much just like, I just feel like, like scared. I literally just feel scared that something's gonna happen, right? And then, as I pull back into my car, I just have this crazy, urge to just throw up. I threw up damn near everything that I ate that entire day, probably including some of the mushrooms, and it was just horrible, bro. But as soon as I threw that up, it was like a relief, instant relief. I finally felt like I grabbed the hold of my mind and my thoughts. I was like, all right, bro, it's, it's gonna end, all right? It's gonna end, all right? Because for a moment, I thought this was gonna be the end of me, bro. I thought that I was just gonna be stuck in this and that I was never gonna come out. I don't know really what the exact medical term is. I think it's psychosis, right? Where you get stuck in that different parallel universe and you, you never come back to reality. I thought I was screwed, bro. I legitimately thought that I was screwed, all right, ladies and gents. But after throwing up, I felt better. I chilled it there for maybe like 30 minutes, went back home, and I, I started to feel fine, but I just felt like, like the next day after you're hungover, like pounding head, I just felt like, I needed to like, I just felt horrible. Low energy, I just felt like I couldn't think. The only thing that I could think about was just getting out of this trip, right? And that literally lasted for hours up until later that night where I started to feel a lot better. It started definitely started to fade away, but it lasted hours. And that right there was literally the worst experience that I've ever had. Now, the latest experience that I had was with these mushrooms right here, like I said in the beginning, the Galaxy Tree Amanita mushrooms, and bro, like this is, this is completely different from like what I felt the first two times, right? This right here kind of made me feel like I was disassociative and I, I just felt like baked a little bit of psychedelics and I just felt like, like just different, like an experience that I never felt before. And I think that's when I found out, bro, after taking these shrooms that like mushrooms are not for me. Like, I, I don't know, I just feel like I just, I don't know, I just don't know what to say, bro, but like after the three experiences that I had, I just know for a fact that my body doesn't react well to that, my mind doesn't react well to that, and that's why the only thing that I'll probably ever touch is just like straight weed, bro. Because nothing, like this is the only plant that makes me feel good, gives me full control of myself, even lets me think deeper than I've ever thought before, and it's just perfect for me, you know? And that's just all really comes down to knowing your body, guys. Don't be harming it, especially like me personally, I didn't even have to do it this third time, but I was like, you know what? Different experience, people said that it was pretty dope. And while it, it did kind of like give me a good Good mood boost and stuff like that I just feel like psychedelics are not for me all right and yeah that right there guys is just my little story on my worst ever mushroom trips let this be a lesson all right let this be a lesson this little story time and let me mind you this is just a story time right and I'm definitely gonna have to add that disclaimer in the beginning of the video all right guys so I am out for today if you guys enjoyed today's little story time please do your boy a favor by leaving a fat like leave a comment down below and most importantly subscribe to the channel if you're new here and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video